All right, going second against Zane Truesdale, Cyber Dragons, or whatever this is. Looking pretty good, actually. I actually like this hand a lot. Uh, we'll just have to see. Oh, one card set and pass. So, so that's interesting. Wasn't what I was wasn't what I was expecting at all. Uh, definitely was expecting more. So we're gonna summon. Means something, right? You know, it's something over there. We're gonna pop. We're gonna summon. Activate. I wonder what that card is. He's really like, might might be something like uh, Providence or something. Something to just straight up negate. Uh, yeah, I could play into it a little bit more. All right. And then we're gonna activate the snowdrops effect. We're gonna summon the Mudan. Summon the snowdrop. We're gonna activate Rika Flurries. I'm really curious what that card is. I guess he's just reading every card. Maybe he maybe he doesn't know what these cards do. And I'm gonna set tranquility. And then I'm gonna pass turn. So basically, if I pop off tranquility, it's gonna make him tribute a monster. Because I had a graveyard set up. So first chance I get to spoil some plans with tranquility, I'm gonna take advantage and do so. Oh, interesting. He did not just try to destroy the Furies. Uh, maybe he should have. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna tribute this. All right, summon. And summon. And the Flurries. Tribute your monster. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right, so he's still, I, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> yes! Huh? Oh, it's one of them like oof decks. He's a memer. Ah? Uh -huh. Uh, I'm being tested. All right. Whoa. That's crazy. This guy playing Floodgate. What? Is he serious? Is he freaking serious right now? We're going to have to do this. I have to summon. I have to activate. We have to tribute. Summon this in defense mode. Activate the effect. And search the deck for. Uh, yeah, for this. We're going to activate it. We're gonna use our effect. We're gonna tribute. <laughs> and we're gonna summon. Snowdrop. And Snowdrop. <laughs> He's not gonna like this. Flurries. And then I'm gonna activate Snowdrop's effect. Eight. Surprise, motherfucker.
What's going on, my boys? Back at it again with a brand new Rika deck, my boy. I really been enjoying playing these Rika monsters. I've been having so much fun using their abilities. Rika Fairy Snowdrop is so good. It lets you summon out your big uh, plant monsters from your hand. But what's really cool about it is we can use this card, Rika Glamour. It lets you search basically the entire deck uh basically as long as you run the equivalent of a rika monster and that level in the deck you can always search it out so if you search out your rika snowdrop you can also search out your titanial i'm playing with just one titanial because i found that more than one titanial kind of bricks you don't really need um two honestly um after you can summon out one you know you you should win the game or you know if for, it, for whatever reason you start losing, you know, you're gonna lose anyway. A second Titanial is not gonna help. Um, but what I really like about this deck is just how it just can combo off and go absolutely crazy. But the weakness I found in this deck is that you can get a lot of awkward fields that you can't really do anything with. You know, when you use uh, the Snowdrop's Monsters Effect, you lock yourself um, into summoning all only plant monsters. Um, so when you lock yourself into summoning uh, only plant monsters for the rest of the turn, your only options is to go into Xyz monsters uh, like this or Xyz monsters like this. But honestly, that's not truly beneficial in this deck. What you really want to do in this deck, when you get a field um, full of big monsters and you can't... Um, you basically have an opportunity to swing in on your opponent. You should take it and swing in for game with beatdown because basically with Titanial, um, your Snowdrop, and then also uh, the Autumn Leaves, you can get a pretty formidable board. I believe it's 37, 27, and uh, 21. So pretty much you can run over just about anything. Um, and what's also cool about being able to do that is that um, you can surprise win with, you know, double snowdrop, or you can surprise win with Mudan and snowdrop and something else. Also, with snowdrop's effect, you can make random level four monsters into level eight monsters, and then also use those monsters to attack your opponent for game. So that's just an um, interesting surprise attack for game style or strategy but what's the best part about this deck you can start off with a truly defensive first turn using autumn leaves autumn leaves pretty much prevents your opponent from being able to attack into your field and with autumn leaves on the field you get the special summon one monsters from the deck and it's normally going to be titanial unless you have some sort of rank six play but basically it's a really strong deck that can play off of each card uh, very well and I also really enjoy using Rika Tranquility. It basically lets you summon two Rika monsters to your side of the field um, but it does require you to tribute one monster on the field but you can't summon back the monster you tribute it. So basically you can use Rika Tranquility to dodge your opponent's effects and then also set your board up for protection with cards like Autumn Leaves. So that's pretty much it my boy. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay and enjoy the uh, clips of the videos. And as always, keep it dank. Yeah, this is not the best type of hand at all. Uh, but we're going to set. And honestly, because his attack is so high, I'm just going to summon this in attack position. And maybe we can get him to, you know put himself in defense mode as the off chance but I doubt it but if it's invoked or uh, with Winda he probably would do defense play which is good and it lets us come in for game on next turn but it depends depends on what he chooses to do so defense play yeah because he's 19 probably set some karma cut action pass all right that all uh, really? All right. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> All right. We got to go with the spider.
Because apparently we're cursed. We gotta get two carrots. You can't use the carrots together to use it to fetch, so best next best thing is to exceed summon with it. Alright, karma cut, that's fine. Uh and yeah, this is probably invoked, and that's probably an Alistair. So uh, I don't have another spider. <laughs> I should have put in another spider actually. Cause I could have played a second spider and got the banish. Damn. Well, I guess that's just lesson for next time. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass because we don't have any Rika monsters at the moment except for just the Snowdrop. So, well, there's the Alistair. All right. Well, then that wasn't a uh, what's your dig? That was a, purg a Purgatorius. I know the window. All right, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was either Wenda or Alistair. So, yeah, I was right on my prediction. I just couldn't follow it up. Oh, okay. So that must be a karma cut or something. Um, uh, yeah, he might regret that. Let me see. Draw it off. All right. That helps. Uh... Yeah, it does help. <laughs> it helps out a lot. All right. Click on special summon. With Geki Break. This guy is like so fun. Carrot champion. Drop. To bring out the carrot weight. Normal summon. Alright, so. Turn us up to six. Alright. We're gonna hit M7. Then we're gonna hop tranquility. Ah, oh, damn, I fucked that up. <laughs> I fucked it up. Damn, I fucked that up. Fuck. Oh well, I fucked that up. Damn it, I fucked that up. Damn it. Ah, fuck that up. I had game. I messed it up. Fuck. I messed it up. Damn it. I messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up and I still won, but I messed it up because what I was supposed to do was that's that's actually funny because I was actually getting into the play and I activated Rika Tranquility. I forgot to uh, use M7's effect first. So what I should have did was M7, activate the effect, throw away uh, the Primula, and then activate the Rika Tranquility, and then I would have got uh, the Rika Fairy and uh, Primula, and then I could have used uh, Snowdrop's effect to go to turn uh, us to level eights. Uh, and then attack for game. I'll go through fire. I'll climb the mountains for you. Tell me, cause I'm looking out for you. This 